Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. <sighs> I'm so bad with introductions. Um, today I wanted to do, I actually filmed this the other day and I was just so out of breath and it was just really like choppy and all over the place. So I'm trying to refilm it. Um, baby names we love but aren't using. More so names that I love that aren't that I'm not using. But um, I have seven names total, four girls and three boys. So I'm gonna do the girls and then the boys. Like I'll just like go back and forth. I saw this tag going around. And I thought it was really cute and fun to watch, especially if you're just interested in finding like different types of names. Um, we already chose our baby girl's name. If you don't, if you're not familiar with me or my channel, we are having a baby girl. It's our first. Um, I don't think, I thought I was gonna share it with you guys sooner, but I think I'm gonna wait till closer to the date, if not after, because, I don't know, I'm just like very protective over it. I know some people know it, but like, I just feel like putting it out into the universe. I just, I just wanna keep it. <laughs> Me and my husband really like unique names, different names, ones that aren't so common, just because, well, me personally, I really feel like that's their name and their identity, well, it is, but I just feel that I always loved a name that was not common. And my name growing up, Charlotte, um, now it's very common, but I always really liked being the only Charlotte that I knew or was in the building. And now there's like a ton of Charlottes, but not that I really love my name, but you know what I mean? So I would want that for my baby boy or baby girl. And also we're very particular with um, the meaning of the name and the origin of it. So, <clears throat> We, wanna, we, we wanted to put a lot of thought into what the name meant because we believe in speaking things into existence and what better way to do that at, than starting with their identity, you know? So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first name for girls is Ruby. And it's very simple and short, but I really love the name. I just think it's, I think I like that it's a rare stone and the color red, I don't know. Ruby. I the only thing is like I feel like I could see a baby girl more so than an adult named Ruby. Um I really like the name, but I personally wouldn't name my baby girl that. Next name for the boy is Oh my gosh, I love this name. I've always loved this name. August. And this is before I think I forget his name, the singer August Asleen or something like that. Before I even heard of him, I never really heard of anyone being named August. I've heard of Autumn for a girl. Um, and so, even though like I really love fall and autumn and all that, it's not why I like this particular name, but I just felt like it's so different for a guy. I mean, I don't know, do you guys know anyone named August? August? I just feel like it's so nice. And I also feel like this name, you know how you like picture when you hear a name, you like picture a specific type of person, like whether it be like the color of their hair or the way they look or their race or ethnicity, like you just like kind of like envision that like right away. For this name, I feel like it's so diverse and it can go for like any, anything or anyone. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like a very diverse, very intriguing name, even though it's a month. <laughs> so the next name for the girl is Penelope. And I think this name is so pretty and so feminine. And I used to have a bunny rabbit stuffed animal that was basically the same size as me when I was little. Um, she had really long legs and long ears and I used to carry her around everywhere. So anyway, I, I always liked that name, but it's super popular now. And also like the Kardashians, Kourtney Kardashian, little girls named that. So I definitely wouldn't pick that. I don't like to have something that someone else has. Um, and I don't even know if I would name my baby girl that anyway, but I just think it is a really pretty and cute feminine name. And it was at one point very different. <laughs> so I do really like that name though. The next name for a boy is Azari. I know you probably maybe never heard of that name. I don't know. I love this name. And the thing is, I, we thought we were having a boy for so long, so like I was just literally looking at boy names and I liked the way it sounded. For us, the only reason why we didn't choose that name if we were gonna have a boy is because of the, the origin and the background. Like I said, we were very like particular with it and I believe the background of it is Muslim and we are Christian, so nothing against Muslim. It's just like we would want 
our baby to have something that's more aligned with our faith. Um, <clears throat> so we didn't go with that. However, we did kind of, we tweaked it and found a name similar that um, is of Hebrew origin and is also really cute and really different. So um, I'm not going to share it, but if we have a little boy, we might still name him that, but yeah, but I do like Azari. I think if you guys don't care, like, of the meaning and all that, like, that's just a really, like, cool, unique name. I don't know any Azaris, and I feel like if I met one, I'd be like, wow, like, what a name. Like, who is this person, you know? Just my opinion. For girls, another one. <sighs> this name to me is breathtaking. It is my husband's niece's baby girl's name and that's where I actually heard it for like the first time in a long time and I was like oh my gosh such a beautiful name okay Ar Aurora I think that name is so beautiful and so like whimsical and obviously it's a Disney princess but even still I just feel like that is a beautiful name and I don't know any Auroras other than her but obviously we couldn't pick that name because it's already taken the last name for the boys is Weston, and I really, really like this name. It's kind of common now, though, a little bit popular, and also Danny's sister's baby is named that, so I couldn't pick that. But I just think it's so, so cute, and I feel like a Weston would be suiting for, like, a little boy and an adult man, you know? I feel like it's a striking name, and it's also just, like, a cute name. It's cute, Weston. Lastly for the girls is Callie. And my best friend, I think, was the one who had mentioned that name a while back. But um, I think it's just really cute and simple. And um, I don't think I would personally name my little girl that, but I just find that that is a cute name, either with a C or a K, Callie, right? I don't know, I wish I had more names to share, but I feel like I'm very, picky with names and that's all I got for you. So if you have any um, down below, you want to comment some, just share with everyone. That'd be cool. Tell me what you think of these names. Do you like them? Do you think they're weird? Do you think they're pretty or what? But um, yeah, we're so excited for our little girl and it's just, it's such a beautiful name and the meaning is so fitting and just like, I'm excited. All right. Love you guys. Like I said, subscribe if you're not already. And um, I will see you in my next video. Ciao.